Hey, what's going on my friends? My name is Anthony and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to load LUTs and create different looks on your Panasonic camera. Panasonic sent me a tutorial. It was like a live stream on how to load these LUTs into your camera and it was half an hour and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to review this because I'm doing things to train our Henry staff on how to actually, you know, sell this feature and such. But Oh man, it was half an hour. It was super unnecessarily long and I'm trying to create the fastest video on that is available on the internet on how to load those lots and create different looks in your Panasonic camera for photo and video as well. This feature is really cool. Uh, I'm shooting on the S5 Mark II, so I'm gonna show you how to load LUTs onto these, but you could do this with any Panasonic camera. So I'm trying to be quick here. Uh, this isn't gonna be the prettiest video that Henry's ever makes, but it might be the fastest tutorial that you see on the internet. Well, that's the goal at least. So under eight minutes, let's go. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a LUT for uh, our images here. And uh, it's in Photoshop, it's a little bit unfortunate that you get uh, an XMP file when I actually want to um, export this LUT right here. Uh, but that's not the file that we actually need to get our LUT onto our Panasonic camera. We actually need a cube file. So. Photoshop allows us to select the, the, the different types of files that we want. So in order to build a look in Photoshop, we need to create a, well, first of all, we need to pull a, a few images that we have on the, uh, our screen here and bring those into Photoshop. We need to make sure that they are a background layer. Uh, and then you're going to start to make your adjustments on top of that layer. What you're gonna do is you're gonna choose a layer, or, or essentially a, uh, a layer adjustment and uh, make your adjustments as you wish. Uh, I personally try and keep them more low key, just like very like slight adjustments. So for example, just adding a little bit of satur saturation, making a little bit of adjustments to the warmth, and then I'm kind of playing with the colors depending on the look that I'm kind of going for. Generally, I'll adjust say like the reds and the greens and maybe the blacks as well. But then we can add the tone curve for a little bit of contrast or saturation, and that's pretty much it. So here here, right here is my look and I'm just gonna make sure that they kind of look okay on other images as well so all different types of images I want to have like a portrait but I also may might want to apply this look to a landscape as well so I'm gonna just copy and paste that look over to a couple different photos and like you saw in Lightroom I was kind of playing around with a, a number of different photos that I've I have here and uh, just making sure that the look actually looks good across many different types of images. So we have a portrait in a garden, we have a portrait outside. This maybe is a little bit red for this uh, location here and maybe just because it's bouncing off uh, my face here maybe a little bit too warm, but we could also adjust the white balancing camera to fix that. So I think that might actually work. So if you're happy with the look that you've created in uh, Photoshop here, then once you're ready to go, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to file and then you're going up to export and then a color lookup table. Now this is important and this is a key thing to understand when you're actually exporting this file, you can uh, give yourself a description, but you need to adjust the grid point to be 33. And then this is the format of the LUT that I was talking about. So you need a cube file. So uh, I'm gonna uh, just select cube and then I'm going to hit okay. Now I can and actually save the LUT itself. So whatever you wanna call this LUT, you could just name it right here. For example, I'm just gonna uh, call this test LUT, but another one of my LUTs that I've actually created already is called Hollywood. You're gonna label your LUT uh, Hollywood, or uh, for example here, this is just gonna be a test LUT. So once you save that, then you can go into your um, little file where you've actually saved it, and you're gonna see that this is a cube file that we can actually drop on, a, on an SD card as long as you formatted that SD card to uh, a Panasonic camera. Any Panasonic camera would work. This is my Lightroom file. This is not gonna work, but the cube files will, so all we're gonna 
to do is drag and drop this onto my SD card that I've got in here and it's just going to copy over and now we're going to be able to get that onto the camera and I'll show you how to do that in a sec. Excellent. So now we have a LUT on the SD card that we formatted for the Panasonic camera that we have right here. Unfortunately, the S5 Mark II doesn't have a clean HDMI out, so that's why you're, I'm essentially recording the, the screen of the camera here, so apologize. But hopefully you guys can see this okay. You're gonna go to the gear icon, and uh, in the gear icon, it's in that first menu uh, where you're going to find a LUT library. Now you can see that I've already uh, imported a bunch of LUTs already, but we're gonna load my test LUT in here so I can show you how it actually works. So the next available slot, slot that I have available is set six. So I'm gonna select that spot and I'm gonna load my LUT into the this spot. So we can see test LUT cube. That, that was the file that I just created. And now it's gonna say it's reading the LUT file completed and there it is, perfect. So when I actually go to uh, uh, like take a look at this LUT, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, go to the photo menu icon and we can see that there are photo styles. And of course we could just flick through all the different looks that I've uh, imported plus what Panasonic is already providing me. And here are my looks here. I have the Hollywood, Rosie Shadows, Kodak Film Bro, Matrix, and then a basic wedding and oh, it looks like I don't actually have that available for some reason. Well, here's the thing that you need to do in order to make this available in this um, little menu here. Go back to the gear icon and then go to photo style settings. Now you're gonna see an option that says show slash hide photo style. And these are all the LUTs or looks that uh, Panasonic provides you uh, with, but you can also see here are mine as well. And uh, you can turn off some that if you don't really plan on using, say like the monochrome ones, I don't know why you wouldn't, these are great. Uh, but you can go ahead and actually select this and turn it off. I've turned off a few that I'm just not a big fan of, but what we wanna do uh, is we want to make photo style six, my test LUT, actually available. So what we're gonna do is turn that on, and then we can go back to the menu here and go to the photo styles and we can see if that is now available. If there's five, there's six. Okay, perfect. So now what we can do is we can edit the title of the LUT. So if you want to change the title of the LUT, then you just go in, edit the title. It'll pull up a keyboard. You can delete whatever you want and name it whatever you'd like. So for example, uh, I've named my number one LUT that I've created is my Hollywood LUT. So I can just change the title so that way I know what it actually is going to be like. For example, uh, this one is more of like red uh, in like the mid-tones or shadows. So uh, I've entitled this one Rosie shadows and then uh, I created a more film look so we have a Kodak film bro uh, that's my third LUT and of course the matrix LUT a little bit more green a little bit more crazy but uh, it is what it is there so you can kind of make those your own and actually title them properly so that way when you're filtering through you know exactly what you're getting so again display edit the title and then you're good to go Okay, so how are we doing for time here? Not too bad at all, actually. I think we're doing well. Okay, so thanks so much, guys, for watching. And if you learned something, if you liked this video, then hit the like button for me. It really does help us out. And subscribe to the Henry's YouTube channel. We're gonna be posting a little bit more frequently now, which is super exciting. I can't wait to see what comes next. My name is Anthony, and I'll see you in the next one.